My great grandpa left a time capsule, and there was at least a 50 50 chance I would get something out of it. But after some pulling, twisting, I got through to the box. I was pretty confused at first because there was like five things in there. Most importantly, a VHS tape with my name on it. How the heck was I supposed to play this tape? I was curious to see what was on the tape. So we put the tape in and we pressed play. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Mia. For my TikTok peeps, you already know the deal. I posted a story on my tick and you guys wanted the full version of the story. And for those that randomly found me and have no idea what I'm talking about, just sit tight and enjoy the ride. I'm gonna give you guys a little refresher slash a backstory to this story time. There's this room in my family's house that has always had a squeak on the floor and none of us have paid much attention to it because, you know, we never really thought much of it. Okay, so here it is. And literally no room in the house squeaks as much as this room does in this one particular spot in this room. So earlier this week, I decided that I was gonna do a little bit of investigating. And so, you know, a part of me was thinking, if I dig up this floor and there's nothing there, my dad is gonna get mad at me. And the other part of me was thinking, if I do dig up this floor and I find something, my dad is still gonna be mad at me. Either way, my dad was gonna get mad at me. And there was at least a 50-50 chance I would get something out of it. So as you know, I was getting the feel of this floor and the distance of this squeak. I was told that when this house was built, my great grandpa left a time capsule. Hold up now, hold up now. So you know, as I'm trying to fill up the floor with my feet, not even realizing that I could be above this time capsule. So you already know what I was about to do next. I went to our garage and I got a big bag of tools. And let me tell you, I had no idea how to use any of the stuff. And I tried to remember all the times I've watched my dad use these tools and nothing was coming back to me. So after 10 or 15 minutes of playing around with these tools, you know, I finally got somewhere. And I put on my protective eyewear and it was go time. And I put a piece of paper on the carpet where I thought the time capsule was and I put an X in the center. And I took the drill and I drilled through that. And once I got through there, I took a pair of heavy duty scissors and I cut my way through the carpet. So after some pulling, twisting, turning, and cutting, I got through to the box. And when I pulled the box out, it looked a bit untouched and actually in pretty nice condition. I mean, which I kinda expected because no one else is pulling out this box through the carpet. Before me, at least. So when I opened the box, I was pretty confused at first because there was like five things in there. A document from the moon landing, a Pac-Man joystick, a landline phone, a Las Vegas dollar coin from 1878, and lastly, most importantly, a VHS tape with my name on it. And you know, a lot of that stuff was pretty interesting, not gonna lie. But what was the significance of this stuff? Of course, as anyone else would be, I was curious to see what was on the tape. And so it was kind of interesting because my parents already had my name before I was born. So I sort of figured out like, oh hey, maybe like my grandpa knew and he wanted this time capsule to be for me. And as if maybe, he left a video for me to watch once I found the time capsule, or if I found the time capsule. And here comes my next challenge. How the heck was I supposed to play this tape? My dad and I looked through the garage and we found the player to play it. Now at this point, oh, this, is, this is a little bit nerve wracking, you know, my stomach is in a knot, like I do not know what to expect on this tape. It could be happy, sad, just or just completely random. So we put the tape in and we press play. Now the first thing that popped up was my grandpa and he started talking. Now watching this, I'm in complete shock. You know, the video was about seven, 10 minutes long. It was very short and simple. And let me tell you, the content was heavy. In this video, he said he put five items in the box that represented five things that he predicted that would happen. From the time he put everything in, which was in 1985. This brought me chills. Who knew my grandpappy was a psychic? So the first thing he talked about in the tape was the document from the moon landing. He put that document in there because he said in 2019, it would mark the 50th anniversary of the moonwalk, obviously. He said within the first few years of the new decade, and you know, I went to fact check this information, and uh, he was right. NASA's website says that they plan to have a mission sometime in 2024. 
And then he started to talk about the Pac-Man joystick. He didn't really say much about it besides that Pac-Man was his favorite game. And that he'd want to share this with his future grandchildren. Which I thought was cute, like, catch me putting a Sims game in a time capsule for my future grandchildren. And fun fact, growing up, I kind of had an obsession with Pac-Man. Whenever my mom took me to the car wash, I used to put a quarter in and I'd play a game. That kind of sounded so old. The next piece he explained was the 1878 dollar coin. He said he'd been to Vegas quite a few times growing up. You know, going to concerts, gambling, just the whole thing that, you know, 20s and 30 year olds do. And in the video, he said that he predicted that one day between 2015 and 2020, there was going to be a horrible event there. He couldn't really pinpoint what it was, but he had a feeling that there was going to be a really horrific event. And he wasn't wrong. There was a Las Vegas shooting that killed 58 people and wounded over 400 at a country music festival that happened in 2017. He didn't say anything about the coin being from 1878, but either way, I was shocked. And so then, next, he explained the landline phone. This one was kind of cute, not gonna lie. He said that that was his first phone he ever used to call his wife. Like, literally so cute. And then, you know, he kind of went off on a little tangent about how much he loved her. Like, goals. Like, hashtag goals to the max. And he was saying how thankful he was to have such loving people in his life. And the next part really got me. He said if he ever had another daughter, he would name her Mia. My heart. I hope this man was protected at all costs. And the saddest thing about this all is that he'll never know that I got to be named Mia. And I realized that on the side of my tape was my birth year. I guess he was hoping for me to be born within the next 13 years because I was. And also 13 was his favorite number, apparently. And before I can even eject the tape, the tape corroded right before our eyes. However, on the bright side, he got his wish and I got mine.